Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a very simple reaction and mechanism. It's called alkylating the alpha carbon of carbonyl compounds. So there's our carbonyl and there is our alpha carbon. The first step in this mechanism is going to be done by LDA dissolved in THF and what that stands for is lithium diisopropyl amine so there's LDA dissolved in tetrahydrofuran or THF and the THF isn't going to be reactive it's just the solvent for our bulky base which is this amine right here so the first step of the mechanism is that the electrons on the nitrogen are going to attack the one of the hydrogens on the alpha carbon which is going to break that bond and form a pi bond between the carbonyl carbon and the alpha carbon because carbon can only have four bonds to it this is going to break the pi bond in the carbonyl and kick those electrons up onto oxygen so let's draw our new structure out let's see R there's our other hydrogen here's our double bond Okay, and there is our enolate ion okay so the second step is actually the addition of the alkyl group that you're wanting to add so R just means remainder, it can be whatever you want it to be, it could be a ring, it could be a chain of carbons, just pretty much anything. So let's not forget the ionic association here between lithium and oxygen. Alright, so this association kind of helps to stabilize the electrons around the oxygen, but not enough, they're still pretty unstable, and so actually what they're going to do is they're going to come back and reform the pi bond in the carbonyl which is going to cause the pi bond between the carbonyl carbon and the alpha carbon to be broken and through an SN2 reaction the halogen on the alkyl group that you're trying to add will be removed so let's go ahead and draw out our next step R C H and then CH2 R let's see there's our reformed carbonyl and R okay so we have just added this chain or ring or whatever this alkyl group to the alpha carbon and that's why this reaction is so important because it can be kind of challenging to add carbon-carbon um, bonds sometime and if numbering were indeed to go begins at the carbonyl this way then this would have been called a beta carbon and like I said it's a really simple mechanism and there's your product alright thanks for watching